So Fathom works with QuickBooks Online Advance and it provides financial analysis and customized reporting, which will help our client better assess their business performance, look for and monitor trends and identify improvement opportunities. Uh, for clients that may just want to run their traditional QuickBooks profit and loss and balance sheet, and that's all the information that they need, um, then this may not be what they want. Um, but if they're wanting to forecast or see scenarios, use KPI, show trends, see growth, then Fathom definitely will help them in those areas. Um, in their QuickBooks Online um, advanced software, they would go to reporting and then select Smart Reporting by Fathom. And this is where they will be in their um, this data here in the settings. So you would go to settings. Um, the first thing you want to do is go into settings and import data. So you import financials from your accounting system. You can import um, your budget and um, here you can import non-financials, which, which we're going to get to a little bit later. Um, so setting up is important to do first. Next, you also want to go here to company profile. Company profile is where you will also um, put any company details, put your logo here. Um, you could put any information here for your profile setup. The next is your chart of accounts. Chart of accounts can be imported as well. And you will reclassify here. So you can reclassify the accounts. They can be grouped under headings and subheadings. You can see um, that here where you can add a heading. You can also, like I said, reclassify um, if you like to. So this is just other options it gives you once you import your chart of accounts. Uh, KPIs. Go here to KPIs. So your KPIs, when you set it up, you have standard KPIs that are already set up in Fathom, and you can also create KPIs by clicking the Create button. And here you can select your non-financial KPIs, things such as how many employees I have or, you know, things like that that you would like to capture that type of non-metric data. Then you have um, the account watch. You can track an account here. You can also create formulas and then you can have a list in your KPI library so that you can use those for different um, companies that you have. I like this little uh, area here where you can rank your KPIs in order of importance. So you can just select that and then you can save your changes. I also like the um, edit and remove them here. Um, you can also drag and drop to organize your KPIs as well. OK, uh, what's selected here just shows you that um, these are the KPIs that's going to be grouped in your report and analysis. And then you can also unselect them if you would like. Once you do that, you would then go in and save changes. Next, we have targets. You can set a target for each selected KPI. The same targets can be applied each month or targets can be um, varied for each period. Um, so you can see here in this drop down where you can select, use the same targets each month or you know, there's your variable targets and you just put in the uh, information here. Fathom would automatically calculate each um, an equivalent target for each quarter and year. Um, if you have an imported budget, budget would go here. Um, you can use the budget to quickly set targets um, for certain KPIs. So once you import a budget, there isn't any here in our demo, but once you import a budget, budget will be right here next to the target area, and you'll see the information here in this column. Okay, next we will, um, you can also have alerts. You can specify alerts for KPIs. Each alert can be turned on or off. When the alert is triggered, a notification will appear in the Fathom analysis tools and reports. So, for example, you can set an alert to monitor once um, a, a particular area gets to a certain percentage or to a certain amount. You can have an alert on that and you can just click them on and off that way. And once you do with anything in, um, with uh, Fathom, you go in and you save your changes that were made. Okay. 
Then we go to the view analysis area. This shows the results for each of your selected KPI. Um, so each KPI is compared against the target setup. You can also compare results with the previous period or same period. So you can see here where you can change the month, quarter, year. Um, you can change that information. Uh, you can switch from all KPIs to just those that are on track, those are off track, those with just alerts. So you can go through and set it up to um, to see those alerts. And you'll see here the dots let you know that, hey, there's an alert there and that you need to look at that. OK, um, next we want to go to KPI Explorer, which is right here. So the KPI Explorer provides an overview of all the KPI results. So this is just one place to see all of them um, in one view. The Explorer helps to identify areas of strengths or weaknesses in the business performance. All right, so next we want to look at the profitability analysis. This helps to evaluate various profit mar margins. It also helps to visualize the break even point. And you can just drag and drop, you know, just kind of to see the changes there. OK. All right. Uh, there's also a cash flow. Right here, the cash flow analysis tool helps to evaluate operating cash flow. There's a waterfall chart that shows cash inflow um, in green and in outflows in red. Our demo doesn't have a lot of green, but if um, it did, you would just see it kind of stagger like a waterfall um, across this particular analysis. All right, then we have also the growth analysis. And the growth analysis helps to show growth trajectory for a certain time period. So you can look here and see how you are gaining or losing or um, on decline rather. You can look at that through this particular growth uh, analysis tool. All right, then we also have trend. The trend analysis helps to track business performance trends over time and KPI comparisons, and you can just kind of drag the bar to see different trends over time. Okay, we also have Goal Seek. Goal Seek uh, helps answer the how do we get hit there questions, like how do we get there, what happened? So you can um, specify a goal and you can um, see the see the information here in Goal Seek. So to use Goal Seek, we look at the KPI, specify a goal, click Goal Seek, and then um, we can change one of the many drivers to achieve the goal. So you can see here if I drag, you see how the information changes under there, the fixed expenses. You'll also see the information change here, price and volume. So changing this here is going to help you to see goals that um, and the trends and things here as well. And you also see this information change. So if I drag, you'll see the changes that occur. So it kind of helps you to see what's what's um, going to happen in different stages of the business. All right, financial statement analysis, which is right here. You can view the company's financial statements, their profit and loss and balance sheet in a summary format. Um, this tool also shows variance information. So if you want to look at that and see um, what's going on with their financials and see the variance, then the financial statements analysis will help you in that area. OK, then we can go up here to reports. If you wanted to look at your reports, you can um, create and customize your report. So you can go here, for example, to create a new report. You can use a template. You can start from scratch. Let's click on a template. Then we can select the time frame for the report, select the type of template. We can hit create report. And it allows you to customize. And you can see the information here in your report. Um, it shows you your KPI information. 
um, it breaks it down for you. You can also change format. You can change different colors. You can do all kinds of little special edits that you want for your reporting. You can also share your reports with, with your team members so that they can see also, so they can make analysis um, as well. Okay. You can also forecast. So there's different tools to be able to forecast. Um, for businesses, this is great to be able to forecast and look at past trends. You can also create scenarios to see, well, if I, am, if I add additional employees, what does that look like for my business? Or, you know, different changes you would like to make, you can see ahead of time how that's going to affect your business before you dive in and make those changes. So that's what the forecast and scenarios do. You can create a scenario here. All right, and then there's also consolidated group. Fathom allows you to group your related companies to easily consolidate reports. So it basically enables you to create an aggregated view of both your financial and non-financial performance of groups of companies. So if you have some companies that are maybe um, in a particular region or you have all particular companies that are multi-currency, however you would like to break them or group them, then Fathom allows you to do that. And you can run analysis um, for each particular group. You can see real formatting of how they're doing in each group. We didn't have any here in our demo um, that because you have to import that information in order to be able to to see it here in Fathom so we don't have any groups imported. But once you do that, Fathom will allow you to um, go in and group together those um, entities and then you can see real reporting for each of them across the board and makes it a one place, a one-stop shop for all your companies to be able to see what's going on with them. All right, additional notes. Um, you can only run reports on accounts from your chart of accounts and non-financials data that you've imported. Fathom does not pull across any um, transactional data, customer level data, product level data, data or invoices within specific accounts. For Fathom, uh, once data is imported, then you can track, forecast, and see trends of the data, which makes Fathom a great advanced reporting tool. And this concludes our Fathom demo. <laughs>